Randy is recording. I'll turn it over to you. Um, do you want to start with, um, thank you everybody for coming to the outreach committee meeting. Um, I know it's been a long time, so we're going to be shaky for a little bit, but hopefully <laughs> I see a wide attendance from this angle on the <laughs> screen. Um, <laughs> and sincerely, I could so relate. Um, so, uh, Mike, you want to bring us up to speed on the performing arts website? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we've been working on the website. It should be ready to go by no later than August 26th. I did do some things differently as far as video, making sure it works for everyone. So it's going to have the feel and look for, uh, that we want. It also be similar to what the district is doing, but that should be ready to go with the, uh, by the end of the month. There will not be a great deal of information on the site because, as we discussed before, this is something that's only going to be used in certain times of the year when musicals and plays are going on. So the information will be somewhat sparse. But it'll be up by August 26th. I should have it ready to go. That's that's wonderful. Um, the, uh, so we got that 21st century grant. I think is spectacular. Um, so what's our next steps with that? What fun are we going to have with it? Yep. Next step is we have to meet with the IU and talk about how we want to, you know, rule this out. One, two things that I thought we'd like to do is after school programming in the area of tutoring and homework help, as well as in the summer. Um, the thing we could do is connect with your idea of interest groups is part of the grant responsibility is to build some career aware awareness and provide some after school activities in addition to tutoring or homework help. So I think there's an opportunity to build some of those things together. What it looks like right now, I can't tell you. I haven't met with IU to map this out and plan this out. Uh, the one thing I am going to be um, try to be emphatic upon is a lot of these groups, a lot of these agencies will party with third party vendors to provide tutoring. I don't want to do that. One, it's a contractual issue, but two, most importantly, if we're going to be serious about filling the learning gaps that we have, you know, in our program or in some of the students' knowledge levels, I think our teachers are best suited to fill in those gaps. So maybe in a week or two, we'll meet with them and start rolling, rolling this out or mapping it out, planning it out, which maybe October, November, we could see the program being implemented. There are some barriers and some um, guidelines that we have to walk through with them, but at this point, I do. I am quite proud of the work we did. This is the first time the district ever received this grant. I am leaning it towards um, after school programming as well as the summer school if we can make those funds work and last that long. And there will be a combination of, like I said, the tutoring, uh, but also the fun activities where outside speakers, you know, kind of connecting to your interest groups can come in and work with their kids. We're not there yet, um, but we'll work there and try to get it done as fast as we can. Um, can I suggest that we reach out to the library as well? Because there could be a space there that we could do some of these groups as well. Yeah. And yep. I think, and they're looking to try and get more of an outreach into the community as well. I think that would, if we combine IU, us, and the library, I think it's a trifecta of wonderfulness. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm enthusiastic. What I like about it, Ms. Blank, while the outside groups come in and work with the kids or do activities with the kids, our teachers can prep and then they can go to tutoring. So we have some leeway, to some flexibility to build a schedule how we think it should work. Uh, we're not there yet. And I'll make sure I bring it up through your committee as well as academic committee meeting. But again, the first hurdle was getting approved for the grant, and we did so, and I'm, and I'm quite proud of that accomplishment. Yeah, I think that's spectacular. I can't wait um, to see how great things can – how much bet well – I wouldn't say better, but how much greater? I know that's so bad for English um, and speech, but okay. Um, so also onto the next step, the mental health symposium. I hear it went really, really well. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, our first show, we had a uh, hundred people show up. I think I could do a better job next time. I don't have authority or control over the quality of presentations or the content. I think we could make it refined, make it a little bit better. Uh, was I happy and pleased that 100 people showed up? Absolutely. I think the more we can in increase and spread awareness about mental health and how they can seek help, I think that's important. But I think we need to get a little bit better about making sure parents understand some of the signs. I thought it was a step in the right direction. I think we can refine it. One thing as a result of next steps, these service providers would like to work uh, and come into the schools, maybe during our back to school nights, to also have tables set up for parents to connect with parents because as we know, we have a really nice turnout on those nights, and we'd like to be able to connect that to families and make those service providers available. But I am happy. I am pleased. Uh, more work needs to be done, but it is a step in the right direction, and I'm really grateful for everyone who showed up. 
Did you have separate tables so that, pa I'm, I'm sorry, this is a uh, second for next time. Um, did you have uh, individual tables so that parents could talk one-on-one -on -one to? Yep, we did. We had about okay. maybe nine to 10 outside tables in the, in the hobby, in the lobby of the auditorium. Uh, I don't know if it was personable enough or confidential enough to have deep conversations, but they right. were definitely able to have conversations and then what we did in the inside, we had four presenters speak. Uh, community, guide, community Guide Center, they talked about PAYS data. Then we had the um, Alice Paul House come in, to, and, 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 Indiana, and the Armstrong Indiana Clarion Drug and Alcohol Commission talk about um, addiction, alcohol, you know, pro uh, antisocial risky behavior. And then we ended the night with the Community Guide Center come in and talk about what they do is open door crisis. And then after that was the... Um, QPR, the question, per, persuade, and respond. So I think it was a good start. I think we need to refine it, but I was very appreciative of the fact that we did have 100 people show up. That's wonderful. I mean, the fact that we had so many more show up than we were expecting is a very good sign. Yeah, um, and especially in August, uh, Wednesday in August. <laughs> you know, I mean, our parents are involved in a lot of things, so are our kids, but look, we have a lot of great parents, and this is a very sensitive subject, and what we didn't want to do is beat it over people's head or make judgments about anyone. All we want to do is provide the outlets for them, and we did so. Yeah, it, it, sound, it sounded wonderful. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Um, but, you know, things were not exactly flowing on my end. Um, so are we thinking about next year around the same time? Well, I think what we're going to do this year, um, after, after this week, I am going to try to sit down with these service providers and, like I said earlier, bring them to our back-to-school nights. Now, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if it's just going to be table set up where the parents walk in, they can see some information and talk to service providers, or if we want to have special sign uh, sessions for parents. I'm thinking the former rather than the later, only because when you do back to school nights, parents are on a tight schedule to meet their kids' teachers, and I don't know if they want to stay three, four hours, so we, we have to kick that out. But I did promise the service providers were after we kind of got school started here on Wednesday, I'd reach out to them, and we'd have another follow-up meeting um, as a yeah. result. I I agree about having them, you know, have them to have tables and parents uh, that informal um, because parents are already going to feel pressure at that night and trying to make the right impression and, and make sure they get all the questions asked they need to. The informal setting would be just much more productive, I think. Yeah, Tammy, I, I was just going to say something kind of similar to that is. I think there's two levels that this needs to operate on. One is general information for the community at large. And the other is parents, some parents already know they have a troubled child. And those are the parents, if you have a table and they need some resources at that time, that there's a place they can go and it's more directed at them. So we need to have both. And, and uh, you know, hitting a hundred people just to educate the community is good. Um, continuing to offer specific information for parents who know that they're in trouble, that know that their kids need help. Is, is very important. I, I think Dr. Schaefer is 100% correct. I did have a parent after event come up to me, um, and I don't want to disclose uh, his or her name, but upset and very thankful and appreciative because her daughter attempted suicide, and she was very grateful for what we're doing. And, and you know, the things that resonated with me, and look, we have a great community. I'm not saying that anything disparaging, but she also said, look, there's some people across this country who think, not me, this couldn't happen here. So it was nice to hear her be appreciative because it is a sensitive subject, but I think Dr. Schaefer is right. Do one that gives that personalization part, you know, that little quiet time, that little one-on-one -on -one time, and then maybe some global trainings. And that's something I have to sort out after. I'll, I'll get to it after Wednesday. Wednesday, back. I want to make sure we have a good day there. But I think on Thursday or Friday, I can meet with them, have something ready for the uh, open house. Okay, you're talking about the 24th, right? Not the 17th. I, I am talking about the 17th. Of that. I'm referring oh, to for that the here. teachers. For, yeah. Okay. I was panicking in my own head. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, but I've got a t I just got a kid in college yesterday and I got another one going, not this Tuesday, but the 22nd. So yeah, let's not, let's not further up the calendar before I'm ready to panic. Um, um, the free shirt sign up. Um, I think that's, uh, I, I saw a little bit of that uh, the other day when I went on to the, ISD website to make sure when classes started for one of my kids' friends. And uh, I saw the free shirt sign up, and I'm just like, oh, this is awesome. Do you want to sign up for it? She goes, what does it look like? I'm like, it's it's bright neon green with pink 
flashes whenever you move. So uh, she knew I was kidding. But um, I think a mock-up next to the uh, announcement would be a good thing. And I don't know that many people know about it yet. So um, we should. Huh? What I could do is um, it's on the, on the form that people complete. There is a mock-up on it in the header of the form. I could easily add it to the website. And um, if you go to show all news, okay. it, it should be the first thing that pops up under that. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know. Because when I first clicked on it, I didn't click on the form because I didn't want to fill it out without a permission. Um, it didn't immediately show what the, the shirt would look like. So I was, she's like, no, I don't want to even, buy, no, don't worry about it. I'm sitting there going, okay, maybe if we had an image of this shirt, you know, next to the idea of the form, it wouldn't take that much to add the image to it. Maybe that might increase some of the foot traffic to it. Yeah, I can, I can, there, there is a shirt on the uh, example of the form on the form, but let me add it to the news story and I can do that. For okay. The grounds because I don't offer much to Buildings and <laughs> oh yeah, you're just absolutely silent through most of these oh. committee meetings. We got to get you to open up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay, so we already touched on to interest groups, um, which kind of tied into number seven, which is the business outreach, because we wanted to get um, some. We had talked at one point about having businesses have signs in their doors or whatever. Um, I don't think we did much more than that after we got the lapel pins. Um, we, what we did, so. was, yep, we have the lapel pins. We gave out Mark Hilliard, work with Mark Hilliard at Chamber of Commerce. He is um, getting dispersing the yard signs that we order and the business signs. Uh, he has those and he would take care of those. Um, and we also work with Mark on um, careers in the classroom. I didn't build that out yet, but what I'm trying to do is work with the Chamber of Commerce, bring people into our classrooms, parents into our classrooms, to talk about their careers. Back in my days, we call it career day or you know, some, you know something like that, but we want to make it fun mm -hmm. and we think our parents have a lot to offer and we want to work on that and roll that out for the whole entire district. I'm just not there yet, but that is one thing we are doing as an outreach with business. All right, that sounds wonderful. Um, item number six, which is the banner for the senior and junior high. I had briefly mentioned before I got a strong cough. Um, but um, I'm hoping that we could put a banner outside of the junior high saying about how home of the battle bots uh, or birthplace of the battle bots and outside of the senior high saying the Pennsylvania rugby champions for 2022. Um, because while we have it in the schools, we want the community to know and they're not going to know unless they go visit the schools. So I, I could do that. I did not. I did. in um, Yes. Inside the school, there is a banner consistent with all the other banners for the rugby championship. We met with the head coach, made sure he was okay with that. So we did do internally, but externally, I didn't do yet. And I can work on that. Yeah, I mean, I think that would be great um, because the average community citizen does not know about it. And I was talking to my husband about how great it was. He goes, did you put up a sign? I'm like, well, it's been mentioned a few times. Yeah, so. We can do that. It's definitely inside the school now. Um, we have a conference champion and a state champion banner. So, yeah, I can work on that. Um, if, if you, if the committee is okay with it, I'd like to get through the T-shirt order because I'm coordinating that. and Organizing oh. 2,000 T-shirts is a little – it may sound silly, but it's a little – right? Um, yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. I mean, I did do – 60 hand-painted t-shirts for vacation bible school um yeah that was so much fun oh i can't even begin to to mention how much fun that was um so yeah that that's fine that's fine i just wanted to give it something that we could work towards you know yep and the only other thing if i can add to it, it's a different subject but if you go to our website under student parents at the very bottom there's an excellence in education award i am leading that and assisting uh mark killer and Mr. Spout for on those initiate those efforts. And again, so you know, uh, yes, there's going to be a countywide teacher of the year who, who would be eligible for a free car. But there's also. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was awesome. So that's that's being mobilized. The only thing I didn't do on the website is I did not add the um, student nomination form. The only reason why is I'd like to meet with staff first. 
but by the end of this week, the student nomination form will be up there. Staff nomination forms ready to go. So again, this is a really unique opportunity to really do some good in our community. And we're grateful for Mark's work, but also Mr. Spadafore's. Oh, that is going to be so wonderful. I can't wait to see the faces of the lucky recipients. Oh, my gosh. Um, kind of in that vein. The, um, the National Young Leadership Conference, um, it's been ongoing for a long, long time, but you don't hear a lot about it. It's, it's teacher-driven. It's teacher-nominated, uh, student-driven. Okay. So I don't know what we can do to maybe promote that. Yeah. Um, uh, ben, my, my stepson, he actually participated in it. I participated in it from Marion Center when I was a – as a senior, um, you go to Washington, you spend two or three days there. Um, they, Ben, when he went, he went to the youth one. I went to the senior high one. And uh, so he stayed at, uh, oh, there's a college just outside of DC that he stayed at for a couple of nights. They had political speakers. I got to meet, you know, state and state senators, state representatives, cool. and you have a mock Congress, you participate in all that, but it's teacher nomination driven. Um, yeah. They have scholarship available. They have, I mean, it is, you know, it, it costs a little bit of money, but there are scholarships available. Um, I think I, when talking about nominating teachers for excellence, this nominates young leaders that I love it. have that interest. And it's just, it's already exists. It's already there. We just, uh, it's kind of underutilized, I think. It is. Okay. Um, can we, can we add that for next month for the brainstorming session on how to get more uh, awareness to it? Yeah, Dr. Schaefer, can you and I just talk offline, maybe send me an example? Because sure. yeah. that's one thing that doesn't maybe come through my office that I, maybe it could and I cannot promote it. That, would okay. you mind just send it to me? Yeah. Yeah. And that now, sound, yeah, that sounds wonderful. I mean, I remember when I was younger, it was the FBLA that I got into that got to go to Seven Springs for a conference. But I like his conference better. Oh, my goodness, yes. And then the only other thing with the, the business outreach and the um, excellence education – we will do uh, a monthly countywide promotion of those students, as well as each individual school will do a month monthly wide promotion of their student. So you're going to see it both from a county perspective and a local perspective promoting this. Because the one thing that I have to commend Mark and, and, and CJ for is it was for every kid, right? So we're looking at growth. We're looking at community service. We're looking at those leadership intangibles. But it allows a kid who made, made a mistake earlier to have a chance to regroup and earn this recognition. So I thought it was a very nice job what they did. And we'll be doing our part to promote it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. It really does. Okay, I think that's about the end of the outreach stuff. Um, I do have, I did have an idea <coughs> that I didn't put on the agenda, but luckily I have 10 minutes before building and in, in ground starts to get, you know, kind of annoyed with me. Um, but you know how uh, we had been talking about a squirrel obstacle course or competitions between the schools? Yeah. Um, what if we did a school-wide, um, say, the junior high came up with the designs and the plans for a squirrel obstacle course kind of thing, and the senior high would have to implement it, and it would be a, a coordinated effort between the schools kind of thing? Yeah. I don't... The one thing I don't... I, we'd, we'd have to talk to the tech ed department, but uh, if it's okay with... You and Dr. Schaefer, I have the leadership, um, IHS leadership, come into a, a future board meeting, talk about some of the things they want to do, and maybe we can bring it up to them as well, if that's okay with you. Oh, that sounds great. I just started thinking, you know, having the junior high compete against the junior, senior high really wouldn't be all that productive, but if they had a coordinated effort and they were getting graded on, graded on their architectural plans or whatever – and graded on how well they implemented the the plans or if they just did it for fun you know i just thought that would be an idea so yeah i, I we definitely could do that last thing i have i mean before we um, use all our time is the committee okay um as you know i'm on the board with united way as you know we participate in turkey thought and they have invested a lot into uh evidence-based program in school the one thing that we are going to do is meet with staff, but also meet with students about how they can do different campaigns. The one thing we are thinking about, maybe at a football game, we do a you know a change collection, help donate to the United Way drive. I don't see a problem with it. I'll fill out the appropriate paperwork, but I just want to make sure the committee was okay with that. Oh no, that's that sounds great to me. Okay, good. So those are all mine. Um, I'll add the shirt mock up, like you said. I'll talk. I'll make sure we consider the library when it comes time to. Um, 
we'll look at roll out the 21st century grant and I'll fine tune the, the mental health providers during back to school nights here in September. All right. Sounds great. Is there anything else you need from me, Dr. Schaefer or Ms. Blaine? No, actually I'm good. Um, I'm actually happy to be still uh, participating in the meetings right now. So I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Um, the only thing I could ask then before we adjourn, if you could help reiterate and communicate to our families the need to complete the survey. Because right now I got about 2,000 responses. We're in a very nice spot, but the window does close on the 19th. And I plan on ordering an extra two or 300 shirts just for those who may not order or do transfers in. Um, right. One I think you and Dr. Schaefer need to be aware of is our enrollment's growing. Um, we see an increase in our elementary school, about 30 or 50 kids than last year, which is a good thing. Wow. Uh, we're navigating those water staffing wise. We're okay right now. But my point to you is I think I've made some people who are new to the district in my communication and we have to plan for that contingency. That's why I'm ordering extra shirts in case you're wondering. Yeah. Um, I will help get the word out as much as possible. Okay. So thank you very much. That's all I have. Dr. Schaefer, Ms. Blank, anything else you need from me? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right, I'm going to end this meeting then, Ms. Blank, and I'll see you here in eight minutes. <laughs> all right, see ya. <laughs> Bye.